In this program, we're going to learn about planets. What is a planet? A planet is a large body that revolves around the sun in the solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system that revolve around the sun. The four inner planets, which are closest to the sun, are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are small and made mostly of rock and metal. Because they are rocky, they are also called the terrestrial planets. Mercury is the smallest planet and the closest to the sun. The surface of Mercury is similar to our moon. It has a very barren, rocky surface covered with many craters. Mercury also doesn't have an atmosphere like our moon, so there is no wind, water, or weather on its surface. Venus is the second planet from the sun. Clouds cover the whole surface of Venus. They let sunlight in, but do not let heat out. This makes Venus very, very hot. Venus is covered with many volcanoes. They are not active, which means they no longer erupt. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the largest of the four inner planets. Earth is often called the water planet because it is the only planet in our solar system that has liquid water on its surface. About 70% of the surface of Earth is covered in water. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has all the conditions that are needed for animals, plants, and humans to live on it. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. Mars is often called the red planet because its surface is covered with rust-like dust. On July 4, 1997, the Mars Pathfinder landed on the surface of Mars and took many pictures of its surface. Mars experiences violent dust storms that constantly change the surface of the planet. Mars is also home to Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in our solar system. Mars has a very thin atmosphere. It is not thick enough to trap the sun's heat, so the planet is very cold. The outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are much larger than the inner planets and made mostly of hydrogen, helium, and other gases. Because they are made of gas, they are also called the gas giants. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. It is the largest planet in our solar system. It is so big that 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. Thick, colorful clouds of deadly poisonous gas surround Jupiter and create the visible bands of color on the planet. Jupiter has many storms raging on its surface. Its famous red spot is a raging gas storm. The red spot is the largest hurricane in the solar system and has been swirling for over 300 years. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. 
It is also one of the most striking planets because of its spectacular ring system that stretches out into space thousands of miles. The rings are made of millions of ice crystals, some as big as a house. Saturn is very light. If you could fit Saturn into a giant Saturn-sized bathtub, it would float. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and the first planet discovered by telescope. Unlike other planets, Uranus rotates on its side like a barrel. This causes one side of the planet to be in total darkness for much of its orbit. Uranus is very slow. It takes 84 Earth years for it to revolve around the Sun. Neptune is the farthest planet from the Sun. Neptune is nearly four times the size of Earth and experiences the most violent weather in our solar system. Storms have been spotted on its surface with freezing winds that blow about 10 times faster than any hurricane on Earth. In addition to the solar system's eight planets, scientists have identified dwarf or minor planets, one of which is Pluto. Now that you better understand the solar system, think about this. Which planet do you think humans would have the best chance of colonizing? Why? <laughs>